we have always operated with a future lens. And today is the definition of possibilities of tomorrow. As we embark on our strategic growth plans here in Jamaica and across the Caribbean, this place that inspired him, that gave life to him, and to me and this great company, is part of everything we do. Sandals Resorts International is a Jamaican-based, wholly owned family enterprise. We were established 40 years ago in 1981, where my dad was, when my dad was 40, and the year I was born. Now that I am indeed 40, with the blessing of my family and the support of this incredible and dedicated SRI team, I intend to carry on my dad's legacy of uncompromised innovation. And we begin here today, where it all started and where it will all go at home. After the year that we have all had, we got here today because we never gave up. At Sandals, we never stopped reinvesting and we never left the marketplace. When others pulled back, we kept our teams in place and on the job. We have one of the largest sales forces of any hotel chain anywhere in the world, and we kept them intact. We were always here. We didn't go anywhere. And when the time was right, we were the first to reopen our doors, working alongside major airlines and our tourist boards to be ready for when customers could come back. And as travel makes its return, we will continue to do the single most important thing we have always done, drive business to the Caribbean. Our plan is to have the new Sandals Downs River ready to accept guests for the winter season beginning Q4 next year, 2022. We are here today to witness the continued expansion of the Sandals Empire. This groundbreaking ceremony for Sandals Downs River property marks the official commencement of extensive construction and renovation at a combined total investment of approximately US $230 million. Sandals is the most successful, all-inclusive, and most awarded holiday brand. While Butch did not invent the all-inclusive concept, he certainly redefined the experience. The construction work will create 2,100 jobs for local workers and contractors. With the addition of rooms to the property, there will be additional ongoing employment as well. And I am told that when the hotel is open in 2024, that there would be 1,336 jobs, that new jobs that this hotel will sustain. This is evidence of Jamaica bouncing back and recovering stronger. The business community is investing and there is a sense, an expectation that there will be a significant boom and recovery after the pandemic.